Hi there, welcome back to the second lecture. So in this lecture, we'll be having a bird's eye view on what we're going to be doing, specifically what we are going to be doing mathematically in this course. So uh, um, let's put ourselves on top of the mountain to get a bit of a perspective of what we are going to be doing. And we look down onto the differential equations that will describe the fermenta, as well as the matrix algebra formulations that will describe the response function. So let's move on. As mentioned in the previous uh, lecture, we have on the one side the microbe, and on the other side we have the fermenter. So uh, um, let's look at them separately, and then we talk about how we are going to be integrating them. So uh, um, if I move this away first and I have a look at the microbe, you will see in this course that it's really about all that is getting taken up by the microbe. So we'll talk about reaction rates, and let's say this is the uptake reaction rate of A, and this is the uptake reaction rate of B, and what will get excreted, for example, is the rate of C being excreted, and remember some of these chemicals are very useful, even green chemicals we can call them, and the secretion rate of D. Okay, so effectively we have a chemical reaction occurring over the buck that is A plus B going to C plus D. Okay, and really our initial work will be in terms of focusing on the stoichiometry. Now, if I say stoichiometry, it implies the finding the stoichiometric coefficients in front of all the components. So it will be about finding the stoichiometric coefficients. And once we have found them, we will link the stoichiometry to the rates. Okay, we'll do this by... Oh, I haven't grouped this. <laughs> we'll do this by using linear algebra. So you'll be using matrices a lot, and uh, if you see the matrices, um, uh, you're probably used to a bit of linear algebra, um, but matrix formulations will describe how the microbe responds to its environment, and we'll refer to this as the response function. And the response function is, of course, just the function that describes the stoichiometry as given in this equation. So let's decrease this, bring this in. So now on the other side we have the fermenter. Now if we talk about the fermenter, uh, we're going to be showing that we'll be using differential equations to describe the operation of the fermenter. You will see that the differential equation is a function of the response function. So, um, basically, the response that you get generated by the microbe will be a function of how things change in the fermenter. If we do this, this is very useful, because if we do this, we start generating those graphs that describe the fermenter behavior. And these are really, for the bioprocess engineer, you can say the holy grail. Because once we have all of this available, it's really very easy to design, operate, and also optimize. With these three things, we can really um, make our process economical. So these three things are really linked to the economy of the process. Now, um, the beauty of the math in this course, because this course can really be described as the math of microbes, lies in the link between the response function, which we'll have in a matrix format over here, that fits in to the differential equation. Okay, so this will give us that interesting cycle that was mentioned in the note, and uh, that's really to say the bug is changing the environment of the fermenter. So because of the response function of the bug, the fermenter conditions change. And then what happens is because of a changing environment in the fermenter, we effectively now have 
an influence of that environment on the bug. Okay, so the beautiful mathematical cycle that we'll see as we progress through this course is really the bug changing its environment and then the environment changing the bug. The math will beautifully capture all of this and hopefully towards the end of semester this little explanation that I've just given you will clarify into a beautiful story.